Hi, one of the commandments I have failed many times is this commandment. Honor thy father and thy mother. The word of God again says to endorse this in Proverbs 30, 17, it says, The eye that mock at his father and despite to obey his mother, the ravens of the valley shall pick it out and the young eagles shall eat it. See, it's very, you know, to read this, it's frightening. See, God, when God says something, he means what he says. Honoring the father and mother is a mandate. A Christian, a person born in this earth, has to honor the father and mother. I have many times failed in this, as I told mainly because of reasons I am a believer and my parents are not. So there are complications. But as an orphan, when I failed, I have repented and still continue to on and often seek the forgiveness of God. At the same time, I try my best to be peaceful, not to hurt my parents. But as I said, this is one of the commandments. I have struggled a lot. But honoring the father and mother means a lot. Recently, I was talking to a grandmother. The grandmother has got, I think, four to five children. And she has a pension. But the people, the children want her pension. In her alien age, they do not want to take her, care of her in a way that she wishes. See, they want to take care of her these children do not want to take care of her in a way that this grandmother wishes. They just want to treat her as an object and just to feed her thrice, put it in a place and you know, give her a shelter. That's all. They treat her as an object which is ready to expire, which, which is ready to go away from this world. And the children do this and the Bible and the word of God is against this. God hates this. Honoring the father and mother is a mandate. Old age homes are beginning. Old age homes are becoming more. Why? The reason is people are unable to honor the father and mother. People are unable to with, withstand the weaknesses of father and mother. Minor weaknesses of father and mother, the people are not able to. The sons are not able to. Daughters are not able to withstand. They are killing, killing the father and mother for property. And that's a grave sin. Any Christian, if he or she is sending her father or mother to old age home, is a sin. Any Christian, father, uh, any Christian who is forcing directly or indirectly, cajoling indirectly or directly to put her mother or father to old age home is a sin. Any Christian grandchildren who are treating their grandmothers and grandfathers as nothing without respect is a sin. They will be punished. God is a God of his word. He tells what he wants and he punishes. He will never leave anyone who disobey his word and take it scot-free because nothing is happening. Honoring the father and mother is a part of spiritual life. It's a very important that we honor the father and mother. The Bible says, when you, if you honor the father and mother, our life will increase. For a long life, if you want a long life, we have to honor the father and mother. We may, may fail at times. We have to seek pardon. We have to show love to them. In case, because of many situations which you or I can't understand or anybody can understand, God only can understand, at least don't harm them. At least don't hurt them. At least do the maximum you can do from your side. It's very important as you are celebrating, you know, you know as you, we are Observing a time of, you know, repentance or fasting or no, as we are thinking about fasting, it's important how you treat your father and mother in your house, how you treat the old people in your house, how the society treats them, how a priest treats the old man, how, a, how a, you know, a pastor treats the old man. When there is an old man, old woman, a mother and father on bed, who, which is ailing, which is sick, who is sick, how they treat. It matters. This is one of the commandments. God means what he says and he is 
very sure is particular that we respect them love our father and mother in all ways possible except for those ways when your father and mother is ungodly they want you to act against the word of god will of god then that's a different question i'll meet you in another video till then bye bye